it's about 40 or so degrees outside and I've got a shitload of stuff I had to move around tonight starting with uh, swapping out a couple cars but first gotta get the rotary running this is a 1988 Mazda RX-7 uh, it's got a turbo motor in it don't really know too much about them I don't really care I bought this car because I needed parts and uh, we're gonna try and jump start this off of my Yukon oh god there's a complete pile Come on, baby. Okay, well, I pushed that out of my way. Got the car out. And now we leave. I have to go get like Chrysler 300 back. So, hop in this, drive this up to Wyckoff, go get my other car back. Okay, running good aside from the fact that it's like everything else I've gotten into today, it's almost out of gas. Son of a bitch. Nope, oh, aside from that, motoring down the freeway. Favorite Pink Floyd song right there. Enjoy the little things during the day. baby you're coming home tonight got work to do to you this winter okay so this one really I don't think this car has been running for quite a few months actually when I think about it it really has been driven lately I parked it here August and it's currently November 15th. So, let's see if she'll start. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Incredible. This this car can sit three, four, five, six months. I think was the most I ever let it sit. And uh, that battery never dies. Battery never goes dead. Never needs any starting fluid. Never even have to open the carburetor and adjust the choke. Nothing. Just jump in it, pump it, and crank it. It always starts. Warm up a minute. 
Nice, greasy, dirty, small block 360. That little bastard is indestructible. I beat the crap out of this car. I beat on this thing like it owes me money. It just keeps fucking running every day. It'd be nice to take it out and see how much stuff on the car is broken. I really haven't checked it out since I uh, since I uh, last got back with it last August from Madison, Illinois. I took it drag racing the whole weekend, towed it there, towed it back on a trailer. So it really hasn't been driven since then. I don't think I'm going to run into any issues though. This car uh, tends to not really give me a lot of shit. At least uh, nothing major. Thank you. 